Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. And this is just a quick video to let you guys know that the Mega Survey has returned. In February of this year, Mega ran a personal survey where you could let them know how they can better engage with the community. And now they're back again with another survey running this week. In this survey, first of all, it's on SurveyMonkey. It's very easy to fill out. And this one details the action figures of the line, which I'm sure for most people is the most important thing about Mega Constructs Halo. So. If you want to let Mega know directly what figures you want from the future, what video games, what types of medium you want the toys to be based on, all that beautiful content is covered in this poll. So you should definitely check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description and the comments down below. And now I'm going to show you uh, the survey. I recorded my screen when I did this before, and I'm going to talk you through my choices and what I did. I'm not trying to persuade anyone to any particular vote. I'm just showing you what I did and how easy the survey is. And I'm also going to comment on why I'm excited about the particular questions that they're asking. Welcome to the Mega Halo Figures Survey. The aim of this survey is to better understand you, the customer, and learn about your shopping habits to provide you with products that are relevant to your interests. Your satisfaction is important to us. The survey is primarily focused on our micro action figures. It won't take long to complete. All right, so I'm trying to answer this truthfully. Question one, for army building, which figure types would you most likely collect multiple copies of? Now, this is multiple copies of a single figure. So I went for flood infection forms. I do want more flood combat forms, but I know they're coming anyway. Way. Drones, I collect as many as possible, and so do I uh, with Brutes, you know? I, w I wanted to select so much more. You could only choose three. This was genuinely difficult, but I respect my choice. Which Spartan armor colors would you prefer to purchase in future Mega Halo sets? Black, gray, and silver, baby. Like, I love my Convert Ops figures. I want more and more of that kind. The Air Assault from Stormbound series recently. It's like my new favorite figure, so I chose, I chose all my dark tones for that one. Question three, which existing Spartan armor types would you prefer to to purchase in future Mega Halo sets. So again, you can only pick three. Spartan CQC, I feel is underrepresented in the uh, brand in general. Spartan Soldier is one of my favorite armor cores. And then the War Master is also something that I don't feel we've got many figures of. I did want to also pick Recon. Which new Spartan armor type would you prefer to purchase? This was really difficult because Mark V Zeta, ah oh man, Enigma would be cool. I went, I, well, so I went for security at first, but then I remember I need to support my brother Toro Ultimate Doom and he really wants Team CQB, so that's for you, Brian. All right, which of the following Halo CE, Halo 2, or Halo 3 figures would you prefer to purchase in upcoming sets? Tartarus, we need another one. We only got that anniversary Tartarus, and we need a Fist of Rooked as well. And then the other ones were difficult. I chose Lord Hood because it's only coming in the Elephant, and most people won't be able to get that, I feel. And then I wanted to pick one of the Prophets. I just went for Mercy, but really all three of the Prophets I think we need in some kind of upcoming set. Then we've got question six. Which of the following Halo 4 and 5 figures would you prefer to purchase? Purchase. So this was another pretty difficult one because I've got all these in many different variations. I thought, why not pick ones that I would like to see battle damage? I would like a battle damage didact for sure. I think that would be really cool. Then I didn't really know what else to pick. It took me a moment. I chose Cortana because Cortana was meant to come in the Warden Eternal as a different version. So I still do want that Halo 5 variant of Cortana. And then the last one I was just picking between Spartans. I wanted to do like a battle damage Spartan Palmer or Olympia Vale. Eventually I went for J. Jameson Locke, because I think we could get a battle damaged or a variation of Jameson Locke. And he's been in some uh, sets without shoulders, so I'd like to see more with shoulders. Question seven was easy. Which existing Halo Infinite figure would you prefer to purchase in future sets? It has to be the Pelican pilot, because he only came in the Pelican. Which new Halo Infinite figure would you prefer to purchase? That was a really difficult one, but I went for the Harbinger, because it would be a really deluxe figure like the Didact. Which existing Halo Wars or Halo Wars 2 figures would you prefer to purchase? Another difficult one, because I have all these characters. So I picked Douglas, because that's uh, an obvious one, he only came in the Kodiak. He's come in the recent Red Team Charge, but it would be nice to get a Halo Heroes variant of Douglas, something along those lines. Then uh, I went for Atriox because, of course, we do need a new Atriox release. It's been a long time. And then I thought for the last one, maybe a cool variant of the uh, transitioning Julem Dharma AC figure that we had in the past. Maybe a transitioning half AC, half not AC Reaper Morami would be pretty cool. And all three of those characters have pretty much had uh, very rare releases, so I thought that was uh, some good decisions. Question 10, which new New Halo Wars or Halo Wars 2 figure. Now, this was the most difficult one because all of these would be insane. Colony, Thrall Slayer, Ellen Anders, Pavian Voridus. I had to go with my gut. I really wanted to go for Pavian or Vordimus, uh, Voridus, Voridus, and Ellen Anders would be great, but I had to go with Team Thrall Slayer because that's what I voted for and campaigned for with the original Mega Fan vote. Justice for Thrall Slayer every time. I want my monkey boy. Which Halo enemy 
faction would you prefer to see in upcoming Mega Halo sets? Obviously the Flood I chose. I, I would have kind of liked to pick the Covenant, but we are getting things like Ghost of Requiem, so the Flood is what I wanted to choose. Which video games would you like to see more Mega Halo sets based off? I, I gave this a lot of thought. Combat Evolved would have been a cool one. Uh, Halo 3 is my all-time favorite Halo game, but then I had to really go with Halo Wars because Halo Wars has so many more buildings and so many more structures and you could get fire bases with Halo Wars. Which additional Halo content would you like to see? TV series concept art, original Mega concepts. I've liked the original Repex line from Mega, but I went with concept art because there were so many fun avenues with that. The possibilities are endless. Now this was a joke, right? I'm gonna pause it for a second. How many Mega Halo building sets have you purchased in the last 12 months? Bro, none? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 or more. I've bought a few more than 10. So I picked 10 or more. <laughs> Are you mocking me, Meg? The next question, how many mega Halo building sets do you currently have in your collection? None, one to five, six to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, more than 20. I have a few more than 20. Hundreds, man. <laughs> Come on, at least give at least give the big collectors out there a tick box that says over a hundred. Uh, over a thousand, I'm sure, for a lot of us. Do you collect any other Mega licenses? I said Masters of the Universe and Pokemon and other. I do collect other random bits. That concludes the survey, ladies and gentlemen. Very easy to do. Will only take a few minutes. And honestly, Mega's gonna listen to this. Mega usually has a window of uh, planning out their releases at least a year in advance. So pretty much like three seasons when they release uh, every spring and fall. And and uh, they're gonna be planning ahead for 2024, essentially. Maybe the book end of 2023. And they're gonna want to know where to take Halo Universe. Like this is a Halo Universe poll, right? Halo Universe has only been here for a year and it's the perfect way to branch out from Halo Infinite, make sort of like a separate toy line almost. And they're clearly looking for the next direction. So cast your vote, support your fellow collectors and let's build the future together. Let's figure out what we want from Halo and from MCX in the future. So as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there folks thank you so much for the continued support and check out my new channel halo hot takes please fill out the survey link down below see you next time guys